part, you know, it's sort of based around a sort of true story um, about this young guy in Belfast who lived uh, in sort of West Belfast. He was just like an opportunist, you know, he was just sort of stealing cars and selling stolen goods. And He was basically kind of approached by the British intelligence to give information, to help them gather information about the workings of the IRA, you know, in his local area. He was suddenly sort of thrust into this world of like, you know, this kind of underground kind of spy, you know, and he was he was basically got himself more and more involved in the workings of the IRA and giving back more and more valuable information and getting him sort of caught between these two worlds, you know. They'll do to you what they did to Frankie, only worse. They're terrorists. Killers who found the cars to kill from. Terrorists? Is that what you think, huh? Terrorists? Well, I don't see anyone tearing up your eyes because you're Irish. Hey, me and uh, the other actor who plays my best mate in the film, we sort of stayed in an accident the whole time we sort of made the film. And yeah, we just sort of integrated ourselves with the local people and just started listening. We worked with a dialect coach for about two weeks, I think it was. And... You want to give me money? And a car for nothing? That's fair by me. I couldn't do it now, jeez. It was about a year ago I did that. I I'd, I'd, I'd ruin it. No, no one would come see the film and think how bad my accident is. 